when you first start your window cleaning business it's really stressful this is hitting me like a ton of bricks and I got to talk about it when, when I, I first started my first year in the business I had like 60 something storefronts I had a lot I don't even remember but all I remember is that the price was really low I was doing some for like 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks. The average was literally 12, 15 dollars. I was starving to death and beggars can't be choosers, right? Anything to get the bills paid because we had an eviction notice. But check this out. There's this emotional thing that happens. Uh, it happened to me where the, the storefronts would be calling me saying, where are you at? Where are you at? Let alone, I was doing landscaping and all that stuff too, and I had all these storefronts. Here's what I'm talking about. This is the high cost of low prices. The high cost of low prices is going to affect you, your health, your sanity, your emotions, your marriage. Everything is going to be on the line when you have low prices because you're putting your customers and your clients before everything, and you're running like a rat slave on a wheel for peanuts, right? I should write a book one day called Drowning in Peanuts because you're drowning in peanuts, right? drowning in peanuts now here's what happens you might make an identity meaning out of like but I'm trying my hardest I'm doing everything I can to get back to every single customer and serve them and now they're upset with me because I can't get to them all on time do you know why you might be providing crappy service and not good um, prompt communication because if your prices are low you can, you're only one person if your prices are low, you can't give good communication. You can barely even give good service. Now, the high cost of low prices is you're hurting your reputation. When a customer leaves you a positive review on Google and they say something like, I love Joe. Joe was awesome. He picked up the phone when we called. He came out and did the windows the next day and he did a beautiful job. We love Joe. Now, people read that. Well, that's because they called at the perfect time or you happen to be able to like it just happened because you got 10 other customers who might be upset because you can't even get back to them. Now that same as that customer calls you back in June. Now they're upset. They can't, I don't understand what happened. Joe got right back with us last time and now he's nowhere to be found. Joe, it doesn't have any integrity. Joe's a piece of crap. Joe. Now, you might make an identity out of that. Oh. I'm on time. I'm the shit, dog. And I'm gonna blow up. Yeah, you're gonna blow up, all right. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna end up in a mental institution. I've been there, dog. Trust me. When you come home and your wife's standing in the driveway and she's like, "I'm fucking leaving. I'm going back to my mom's house. You never spend any time with me. You work a hundred hours a week." And you have nothing to show for it. When you start facing that shit, dude, I literally was so swamped. I just stopped showing up to all these storefronts. I didn't even have time to call them. This was years ago. And let them know that I, I quit. I couldn't even show up. I couldn't even do it. I was going out scrambling on Sundays till dark in the rain. Anything I had to do to finish their windows. And I felt so bad, it was eating me up inside because what are you? You're a man of integrity. And now you don't have any integrity. And then you learn it. It's all just a merry-go-round. It's all just the business. And so like this fitness center just called me up. They want both our locations clean, window cleaning. And they're like, uh, we want a price for cleaning the windows inside and out monthly, recurring. I say, okay, awesome. We do have a three hundred, a two hundred and ninety-nine dollar minimum to do anything, right? So let me look at the house on Google. I mean, the store on Google. They go, whoa, two hundred and ninety-nine bucks. I said, yeah. What kind of prices are you getting? Well, our last window cleaner was fifty dollars. He came for a few months, and then we we never heard from him again. Then we had another window cleaner for like fifty bucks, and then we got a quote by a professional licensed insured window cleaner for $150. And my boss told me to rip it up and throw it in the garbage because the price was too high. I told them over the phone, I said, you got two types of window cleaners. You got the bucket bob, who will ne you'll never be able to keep him around unless he you know, works himself to death. And you know, 
and then you got a licensed assured window cleaner who and that's why our price is high because you're paying for integrity you're paying for integrity but you know why because I'm not gonna be showing up to clean your windows in like 30 years hunched over with bags under my eyes driving a car with like the bumper falling off my fucking wife left me my whole life is shit and I'm broke showing up to clean your windows to make you happy for 50 bucks. But there's another video that I'm kind of nervous to up to that I've already made and I'm, I'm gonna upload this video right now. It's about the scarcity mentality versus the abundance. I don't hear anybody talk about this. If somebody like a I don't know, the Brandon Vaughn and Joshua Latimer and all these guys build these window cleaning businesses, $100,000 a month. You know, I haven't seen their tax returns, but I'm just looking at data here. I'm looking at data. And Albert Einstein said, do you live in a friendly or a hostile universe? Because if you live in a hostile universe in your consciousness, then the blueprint, the holographic, the holographic projection through which you project your perception, your perception of the universe through your eyes, what you see, will quantify and manifest directly in front of you. Because I'm telling you right now, you can judge me if you want. I literally cannot even believe that we're getting window cleaning jobs for $299 minimums right now in the same exact neighborhoods where I used to clean people's windows for $99 and come home at dark exhausted. Now I'm getting triple in the same effing neighborhoods and there isn't even any free screen cleaning anymore. Four bucks a screen. like uh, so we do a house for three hundred and seventy-one dollars. That's with the screens or something like that. And these, are, I'm talking about just regular houses like this. I'm not talking about like the bigger houses that are five hundred dollar houses, uh, dude. I have a lot of poverty mentality. I'm working through, and I just turned thirty-six. I feel like I'm late. I'm super late to the game, dude. I got friends like, you know, I can't say what they tell me, but I, I have friends that are my age that are fucking making millions of dollars a year in revenue, and I'm looking at them like, how do you do that? How? I'm just like Jack and the Beanstalk. I'm like, am I, is there something wrong with my brain? Let me go try harder. Let me try harder. My window cleaning mentor, he talked to me like, what are you doing? Why would you run around trying to get people to let you clean their windows for peanuts. You should be looking for and marketing to affluent customers who have extra money to blow because window cleaning is a luxury service. Okay, that's all. I didn't even plan on doing this, but I have to. <laughs> I have a free three video series. If you're new in the window cleaning business and you want an in-depth, um, uh, here, here's what I'm really doing. It's a free three window cleaning video series, but what happens is I'm going to get you into my funnel and then I'm going to try to sell you my book, right? And then after a little while, you're going to be like, I like this Keith guy, he's big, yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to try to sell you my window cleaning course, but it's a great course. How to make $500 a day cleaning windows, dog. All right, I'll put the links in the description below. Uh, Kelfis is trying to sell. He's a sellout. Anybody who, you know who says that? People who I like I used to be, I was terrified to sell anything on social media for years because I was terrified that people would think that I was a sellout. But I tell you one thing, dude. I don't know what I'm telling you. <laughs> I love you, man. Peace.